Good day Forex Trader. Your USD Forex Signal, Drifting Down From Highs. Today's Your USD Signals. Risk 0.75%. Trades may only be entered before 5 p.m. London time today. Short Trade Idea. Short Entry at $1.1661. Use Average Recent Volatility Shown by the Average True Range, ATR, Indicator to Set a Stop Loss. Move the stop loss to break even once the trade is 50 pips in profit. Remove 50% of the position as profit when the price reaches 50 pips in profit and leave the remainder of the position to ride. Long trade ideas. Long entry following a bullish price action reversal on the H1 time frame immediately upon the next touch of $1.1403, $1.1387, dollars $1 or $1.1335. Put the stop loss 1 pip below the local swing low. Adjust the stop loss to break even once the trade is 20 pips in profit. Remove 50% of the position as profit when the price reaches 20 pips in profit and leave the remainder of the position to ride. The best method to identify a classic price action reversal is for an hourly candle to close, such as a pin bar, a dodgy, an outside or even just an engulfing candle with a higher close. You can exploit these levels or zones by watching the price action that occurs at the given levels. Your USD Analysis I wrote in my last forecast last Wednesday that the best option would probably be to try to ride the new bullish wave until it ran out of momentum. I thought this may already have happened or would be quite likely to happen at the slightly higher price of $1.1295. I thought this area would be pivotal, so I had an alternative of the price getting above $1.1300 and traders looking for a long scalp if there was room left to rise to $1.1335 at that point. This was an indifferent call. The price did get above $1.1300 and gave a possible 20 pips or so of profit for a scalp during the first half of the London session that day. The technical picture is dominated by last week's firm rise in the price, which came after the European Central Bank gave a more pessimistic policy outlook and refused to rule out a first-rate hike to be made during 2022. This saw the euro rise and the price here hit a high of $1.1483 the next day. Since that peak on Friday, the price has continued to gently retrace, and now seems to have arrived at the pivotal point of the support level confluent with the round number at $1.1400. Much will depend now upon whether this support holds, although there are a few support levels close below that which are shown in the price chart below. However, I see $1.1400 as the most likely level to be strong, so an early clue will come in whether the price gets established now below this level, which would be a bearish sign. One piece of evidence increasing the chances of this happening is the fact that the A has been the weakest major currency since the end of yesterday New York session. If we do not get any hourly closes below $1.1400 as we go into the London session's first few hours, we will become more likely to see a bullish reversal here, which could be very attractive as there are no key resistance levels above for more than 200 pips, so the price technically has plenty of room to rise. GBP USD Forex Signal, Bearish Flag Signals More Weakness the pair will likely continue dropping as bears target the next key support level at 1.3450. Bearish view. Sell the GBP USD pair and set a take profit at 1.3445. Add a stop loss at 1.3600. Timeline, 1 day. Bullish view. Set a buy stop at 1.3540 and a take profit at 1.3600. Add a stop loss at 1.3480. The GBP USD pair retreated slightly on Monday as investors continued to reflect on the recent interest rate decision by the Bank of England. It is trading at 1.3527, which is about 0.75% below its highest level last week. Bo and Fed. The main catalyst for the GBP USD pair is the fact that the Fed and the Bank of England have now embraced a hawkish tone and are completely data dependent. Last week, the BOE decided to raise interest rates by 0.25%, bringing them to 0.5%.
it was the first time since 2004 that the bank implemented back-to-back -back rate hikes. It also hinted that it will end its asset purchases program. The BO will likely continue hiking interest rates considering that the housing market continues to strengthen. Data published by Halifax showed that home prices continued rising in January. The Fed, on the other hand, has hinted that the it will end its asset purchases program in March and then start a hiking phase. The bank hinted that it will implement three rate hikes although some analysts are pricing in four to seven hikes. The fact that the Fed will deliver more hikes was supported by the performance of the labor market. Last week, the Bureau of Labor Statistics said that the American economy created more than 467k jobs in January and upgraded December's jobs numbers. The next major catalyst for the GBP USD pair will be the upcoming American Consumer Price Index CPI, data. Analysts expect the data will show that the country's inflation jumped to the highest level in more than 40 years in January. Inflation is expected to remain at elevated levels especially as the threat of war between Ukraine and Russia escalates. On the positive side, there are signs that supply chain challenges are easing, which will lower price pressures. GBP USD Forecast The 4-hour chart shows the pair rose to a high of 1.3630 last week. It is now trading at 1.3535, which is slightly below the first support of the Andrews Pitchfork tool. It has also moved to the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level and below the 25-day moving average. The MACD has also made a bearish crossover pattern. Therefore, the pair will likely continue dropping as bears target the next key support level at 1.3450. This view will be invalidated if it moves above the resistance at 1.3570. AUD USD Forex signal, rebound does not have legs. I suspect that the pair will resume the bearish trend since it has already retested the important level at 0.7110. Bearish view. Sell the AUD USD and set a take profit at 0.7045. Add a stop loss at 0.7160. Timeline, 1 to 2 days. Bullish view. Set a buy stop at 0.7140 and a take profit at 0.7230. Add a stop loss at 0.7080. The AUD USD crawled back after the Australian government announced further reopening plans. It also rose after the strong quarterly retail sales numbers from the country. It is trading at 0.7110 which is about 80 basis points above the lowest level on Friday last week. Australia reopening The Australian dollar rose slightly on Monday after the Australian government announced that it will reopen its borders to international travellers on February 21. People arriving in the country will need to be vaccinated against COVID-19. Unvaccinated people with a medical reason will need to apply for a travel exemption and be ready to isolate for a while. Analysts believe that this is the right decision by the Australian government considering that more people have already been vaccinated. The reopening will help to boost the country's economy, especially the services sector that has been hurt by the lockdown. The AUD-USD pair also rose after Australian retail sales numbers. According to the country's Bureau of Statistics, Retail sales declined by 4.4% in January after rising by 7.3% in December. That decline was in line with what analysts were expecting. Another data showed they the sales jumped by 8.2% in the fourth quarter due to the holiday season. Meanwhile, according to the Australian industry group, AIG, the services PMI increased from 496 in December to 562 in January. The services sector will continue doing well as the country reopens its borders. Therefore, the AUD USD pair rose because the action by the Australian government will give the Reserve Bank of Australia (RBA) the impetus to start hiking interest rates. In a statement last week, the RBA governor refused to rule out a situation where the bank hikes rates this year. AUD USD forecast. The AUD-USD pair tilted higher during the Asian session as investors reacted to the latest data from Australia. 
The pair is trading at 0.7110, which is slightly above last week's low of 0.7050. On the 4-hour chart, the pair moved slightly above the 25-day and 50-day moving average. It also managed to move above the key support at 0.7083, which was the lowest level on December 20. Therefore, I suspect that the pair will resume the bearish trend since it has already retested the important level at 0.7110. A break and retest pattern is usually a sign that the original trend will continue. If this happens, the next level to watch will be at 0.7025.